Our next speaker is Yolanda Johnson Bryant. Yolanda Johnson Bryant, also known as that lit literary lady, is the Division E Governor and a member of Speaker Ramirez Toastmasters at Stream, Extreme Toastmasters and Improv Toastmasters, Improv Masters Toastmasters. She is the VP of PR for Improv Masters Toastmasters and the Area 42 Governor. Yolanda is the founder and CEO of Bryant Consulting and LW Media Group and provides literary, publishing, social media, and marketing services. She's an accomplished freelance writer and author. She will be speaking from the advanced manual storytelling, um, Let's Get Personal. Again, Let's Get Personal, Yolanda Johnson. you a little bit. I'm the area, I'm the Division E Governor, and Jasmine is the Area 42 Governor now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm coming to you from the Advanced Manual Storytelling, and I'm going to give an impromptu speech that I thought of last night, simply because I ordered my uh, manuals and they have not come yet, so I'm going to do this by ear. My title is Never Look Back. Now many times in our life, we go through so many things, and people try to encourage us and tell us, Never look back. Always look straight ahead. Keep your eye on the prize. Well, I'm here to tell you, always look back. I'll tell you why. I attended college at the University of Phoenix in San Diego, California. And if anyone is familiar with the University of Phoenix, they do their classes in what they call study groups, which means you partner up with about five to eight different people, and those are the people that you spend the rest of your life with, or at least for the next six weeks. And if you're taking the same major, you're going to see these people in other classes. Well, as in any other group, you have that person who thinks they know everything. And then you have that person that does nothing but takes all the credit. And that person can be a pain in your side. And the pain in my side was Tina Velasquez. <laughs> <laughs> Tina was a beautiful Latina woman. And everybody knew it, and she knew it. She had long, flowing, beautiful auburn hair, and she was thin, and she, she was just cute, and she knew it. She was the person that did nothing but took all the credit. One day, we're in the restroom, and I come out of the stall, and she's putting on her lipstick. You know, she lines her lips with the darker lip, with the black eyeliner, and puts on the light color, and she's in the mirror. And she tells me, you know, there are people in my group that I don't think are, that are carrying um, their weight. And I looked at her and I said, really? Tell me more. So she began to tell me about different members of the group that she felt wasn't doing their part. And I finally told her, I said, that's kind of funny because that's how everyone thinks about you. And when I said that, she says, oh, Chica, everybody's just jealous of me. That's the problem. And I said, really? I said, okay, I'm glad to know that. So as I washed my hands and dry them, and walked out of the bathroom thinking, okay, whatever. I walked out thinking I was cute. <laughs> <laughs> now, the campus in the University of Phoenix is pretty large in California, and we have to walk from building to building to get to our next class. So I'm walking outside, walking to the next building. She, I can hear her clumping behind me, and I'm just thinking, I'm cute, I'm ignoring her, and I'm walking down the aisle here. And I get into class, and I sit down to our next class, and everybody's like, S -s 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 -s. I'm like, what's, what's going on? I'm thinking they're talking about her. And finally, the, I was a spokesperson, spokesperson for our particular project. So the instructor called me up front to give a report. So I walk up front, I give the report, and the teacher comes over to me, and, and he says, that, and I was Miss Johnson, Miss Johnson, you got something in the back of your, uh, back of your skirt. Now I was looking really cute. I had on a short mini skirt with some tights and some cute little shoes. So of course I was cute. He goes, you have something in your hanging out your tights and your skirt is up. And I'm like, what? He goes, yeah. I'm like, you're kidding, right? And he started tugging. It actually wasn't tissue. It was a a toilet ring. And he, <laughs> and he pulls it out for me. And I was so embarrassed. And I went down and sat at my seat. 
And the next person in line had to get up and finish the report because I was so embarrassed. And of course, Tina Velasquez was sitting there <laughs> laughing at me, right? I'm like, okay, fine. So a couple weeks later, after we were at the end of our, our, our program, she got up to give the report, and she walks up, and everybody's, and I'm like, okay, do I have tissue again? I'm like, because certainly they're not laughing at Miss Tina Velasquez. She looks beautiful today. And I'm thinking, maybe I have something. But I checked, and I didn't have anything. But they kept whispering, and we're in a different class this time. And they kept whispering, and I'm like, what are they, what are they talking about? And I'm looking around to see what they're looking at, and they're looking up front at Tina Velasquez. And I'm like, why are you laughing at her? I look around again, and this guy's like, And I look at her, and there it was, this big green mess <laughs> sitting on the side of her nose. <laughs> and I have to admit, the first thing that I thought to do was not say anything. But then again, that would speak against my character. Because I would have wanted her to tell me that I had the toilet ring hanging out of the back of my, my skirt, but she did. And that was her character, and that was fine. So I calmly walked up and stood in front of her. And she's like, what are you doing, Chica? You know, she's really, really adamant. What are you doing, Chica? What are you doing? This is my time. This is my time. I'm like, just stand very still. I had a piece of tissue. I said, here. I said, you have something in your nose. And that's what they're laughing at. And she goes, no, 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 no. I, and I kind of got the tissue. And I went like that. And I showed it to her. <laughs> <laughs> and she turned red. I said, but it's okay. I said, you're beautiful. You got this, Chica. And I went like that. And when I went like that, she carried on as if nothing had happened. <laughs> so later on that evening, later on that day, we we're in another building and we both end up in the same bathroom. Of course, this time when I come out of the bathroom, I look back and make sure that toilet ring went down the toilet and I came out and she said, thank you. I apologized for a couple weeks ago, and that will never happen again. You really made me feel bad by pointing out what was wrong with me. So with that being said, the moral of the story is, even though people tell you never look back, always look back. <laughs> <laughs>